In this video, we'll be going over the best name brand subwoofers under $200. Names like Alpine, Rockford, JL Audio, Kicker, Memphis, and as a bonus, we threw in a Sundown subwoofer. Since you guys have been requesting we review some of the products, we decided to toss this one in the mix. Just wait to see the results on this one. You don't want to go anywhere. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Josh from Breaker Stereo and Performance. Now today we're gonna get into six 12 inch subwoofers under $200. From name brands you've heard of like GL Audio, Frostgate, Kicker, and Alpine, but what is the best? So let's answer that question. So in this video, we'll be going over specs, the design features, and then we're gonna test out these woofers individually. Now we'll be testing these subs in their recommended airspace or in the manufacturer's preloaded box, but they will all be in vented enclosures. Now, during the sound test, we'll use our Term Lab SPL meter to get a reading using some bass boosted music to see which woofer is the loudest. And then we'll play different types of music to get a feel for how each of these woofers perform. Now here are the woofers we will be looking at. The JL Audio 12WO, Rockford Fosgate P2, Memphis Car Audio's PRX or Power Reference, the Kicker Comp R, Alpine's S-Series, and finally Sundown's EV.4. So these woofers will range in power handling from as low as 300 watts RMS up to 600 watts RMS. So this video isn't about which is the best in each power handling class, it's strictly based on price. Now we took these six brands and selected the best woofer they offer for under $200. And we'll be comparing these three things. Number one, specs. Number two, output measured by SBL. And number three, overall listening experience. Okay, so let's jump into it. Starting with the JL Audio 12WO-4. Now this woofer is made of polypropylene, which gives you a warmer sound versus paper comb. And the surround is foam, which is consistent in the full JL Audio line, except for their shallow line woofers. Now it handles 300 watts RMS, 600 watts peak, which is one of the lowest of the group. Now the frequency response is 22 Hertz up to 250 Hertz, with 22 being the lowest frequency the woofers in this comparison can play. Now the sensitivity is 85.64 dB at one watt, one meter. And this woofer only comes in a single four ohm, unlike the other woofers we'll be looking at that come in either a dual voice coil, either two or four, besides the Memphis, which comes in a selectable two or four ohm and load. So with this JL woofer, you are limited when it comes to matching an app, especially if you're only planning to run one sub. Now the recommended seal box is 1.375 and the ported is 1.75. Now the resident frequency is 28.43. Now the resident frequency or the FS is where the woofer naturally resonates. So in most cases, the lower the better if you're looking for deep bass. And the last thing we're gonna look at is the X max, which is the measurement of the speaker's cone's maximum excursion in one direction while maintaining a linear behavior. And for this woofer, it is 11.4 millimeters. And finally, the woofer's voice code measures at two inches. Now the special features include a dynamic motor analyst, the DMA that JL has used in their woofers for years. Elevated frame cooling design delivers cool air through the slots directly above the top plate of the voice coil of this speaker. Now, not only does this enhance power handling, but also sound quality by minimizing dynamic parameter shifts and power compression. Okay, I know that's kind of a lot, but retail price is $199. Next, the Rockford Fosgate P212. The code is made of Kevlar reinforced paper, soundprint surround, Okay, this handles 400 watts RMS and 800 watts peak. The frequency response is between 27 hertz and 250 hertz. Sensitivity is 86 dB. And this comes in either a dual two or dual four ohms. Reco seal box is 1.02 cubic feet. A recommended ported box is 1.79. The resident frequency is 27.2. The X-Max is 10 millimeters, and this has a two and a quarter inch voice coil. Special features include an anodized aluminum voice coil former and spider venting, helping the subwoofer keep cool. Also a hybrid stamp basket provides strength while minimizing weight. 
Current retail price is $189. Now moving on to the Memphis PRX1224. Now this has a treated paper cone, double stitch, butyl rubber surround, and a full polypropylene dust cap. Now the power handling is 300 watts RMS and 600 watts peak, tied for the lowest in power handling with DJL. Frequency response is 30 hertz up to 150 hertz. Sensitivity is 85.8 dB. And this is a selectable two or four ohm impedance, which we'll talk about more in a minute. Now the recommended seal box volume is 1.25 cubic feet. And the ported is actually really big at 2.75 cubic feet the largest amongst the group. The resonate frequency is 35 and the X max is 10.5 millimeters. Now, let's go back to the selectable impedance. Now this woofer has a two inch US grade 220C copper voice coil and actually has three voice coils enabling it to have a true two or four ohm selectable impedance. Now the reason why they use the US grade 220C copper is because the Chinese or even the Japanese 220C copper is not as good or more tolerant than US copper. Now in order for Memphis to achieve their selectable two or four ohm driver, these coils have to be precise and the better quality voice coil makes a better reliable driver. Special features include double stitch surround, also the DVBC, direct vent voice cooling, and also the treated paper cone with a fully polypropylene dust cap, giving you the best of both worlds with the stiffness of a treated paper cone along with the warmness of polypropylene. Current retail price, $179. Next, Kicker Comp R-Series. Injected molded polypropylene cone, double stitched Santoprene rubber surround. Now these handle 500 watts RMS and a thousand watts peak. Now the frequency response is 25 up to 500 Hertz. This has the widest range. Now the sensitivity is 86.9 dB and this is also the best of the group. Now this comes in either a dual four or dual two ohm. Recommended seal box ranges from 1.0 to 2.0 cubic feet. And the porter box also ranges from 1.75 up to 2.25 cubic feet. Now the FS is 23.14, which is the lowest of the group. And the X max is 12.73. Now this has a 1.95 inch copper voice coil. Now the last three specs are not listed on Kicker's website, so we call them and they give us this information direct. Special features include forced air cooling system, using the motor structure to pull air across the voice coil, helping the sub run 25% cooler than their previous model. Retail price, $169. Next, the Alpine S Series 12 inch. This has a Kevlar reinforced pulp cone with hammer Sanderpine rubber surround. Now this handles 600 watts RMS and these handle the most out of the bunch and peak power is 1800 watts, but definitely not recommended. Frequency response is 24 Hertz up to 200 Hertz, 86.4 dB at one watt one meter for sensitivity. And these come in either a dual two or dual four ohm. Ideal seal box is 0.85 cubic feet. An ideal porta box is 1.51, which is the smallest recommended box for sealed and ported out of the six woofers we're looking at today. Resident frequency is 31 and the X max is 15 millimeter. Just edging out the sundown, which comes in at 14 millimeters. And the voice curl is 2.6 inches. Again, the largest of the compared woofers, which just edged out the sundown again, which is 2.5. Special features include the hammer surround, which is the rib surround that gives us that large 15 millimeter X max. The progressive spider has reinforced layered tensile leads to ensure reliability and consistent control over the tensile leads and eliminates any mechanical noise or interference, often seen in high excursion cone designs. Kevlar reinforced pulp cone along with the poly mica dust cap. Now both of these scenes combined increase strength and give a nice warm sound. Also, the oversized inverted dust cap increases rigidity and eliminates cone distortion at high volumes. Retail price, $199. And finally, the Sundown E series. This has a super rigid, thick four millimeter treated pulp comb with foam surround. Now the RMS is 500 watts RMS and a thousand peak. And this comes in either a dual two or dual four ohm. Recommended porter enclosure is 1.76, and this is not recommended for sealed boxes. The FS is 32.4, and the X max is 14 millimeters. Now this has a four layer, two and a half inch voice coil. 
and special features include vented magnetic gap on the back that forces air through the back and a black aluminum two and a half inch voice coil former for superior heat dissipation. Now the stitched on mini XL tinsel leads that prevent fatigue and failure and also the bolt through motor design to ensure maximum longevity and ruggedness against mechanical failure. Retail price $179. Great value in the sundown. Now these are the leaders in each category. Power handling, Alpine at 600 watts RMS. The frequency range winner is Kicker, coming in at 25 hertz up to 500 hertz. But the JL responds the lowest at 22 hertz. Now the Kicker is the most efficient with the sensitivity coming in at 86.9, along with the FS at 23.14. Alpine wins the category with the smallest recommended boxes for both sealed and ported. Alpine also wins the X-Max at 15 millimeter, along with the largest voice coil. And these handle the most power. So JL wins one, Kicker three, and Alpine four. All right, that covers the specs. Let's go ahead and take a listen. Now all the woofers used will have a final impedance of two ohms besides the JL, which of course is four ohms. Now we'll be using the VIV 1100.1, which is made by Memphis to drive these woofers, but we will adjust the amplifier each time to get the proper wattage to match as best as possible to the woofer by using a multimeter and some math. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna test some bass boosted music out. All right, so we'll run that, we'll get an SPL reading on it, and then from there, we're gonna switch gears and we'll do another song, something that's more sound quality, and then I'll give you my overall thoughts. All right, let's do it. All right, so we got 131.3, that's the Kicker 12 inch Comp R, and that's its own box that comes out of Kicker. So let's go ahead and take a listen to some other music and see how it sounds. Okay, so this woofer has nice punchy bass. It also has some low end too. The roll off is not as nice. It is a little sharper. Uh, if you like that really good punchy bass, then definitely this is a good one to go with. It does play deeper bass, but again, uh, it doesn't roll off quite as nice as some of the other woofers that we are gonna take a listen to, okay? But altogether, a pretty good subwoofer. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the Alpine Type S. All right, so on the Alpine, we have 132.5, pretty good. All right, so let's go ahead and take a listen to some music. So all together, a pretty good sounding woofer. Now keep in mind, this box is the smallest out of the bunch. If you're looking for something that doesn't need so much airspace, uh, take a look at the Type S. But all together, a uh, good deep bass, also uh, nice punchy bass and accurate, just not quite as loud as some of the other woofers we're looking at. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out the Sundown and we'll do the same songs in order. Okay, let's do it. One thirty-five point five. These Sundown woofers are definitely designed for SPL. That's a given. That was super loud for that single twelve. But let's check out this woofer and see how it does with some music. Okay, so I'm actually surprised. This woofer actually uh, keeps up with that nice snappy bass and the roll off is, is pretty nice. So I do like that. Um, I was not anticipating it being as accurate as it is, especially in that ported box, but it does a great job. So definitely, definitely happy. Okay, now the Rockford Fosgate P212. All right, that's pretty good. You got 134.2 on the SPL meter. The send down was a little bit higher. Okay, so let's go ahead and listen to some music.
Okay, so you got nice deep bass that uh, Rockford is kind of known for. It does produce that punchy bass, but it is a little muddier than some of the buffers that we've been listening to. But musically, I would say out of everything I listened to so far, this is probably not the most musical woofer. But if you want deep bass, then consider Fosgate. Okay, now the JL Audio 12W0. Okay, so 130.1, not surprising. This is not an SPL type woofer, doesn't handle too much power. Uh, so I wasn't expecting too much out of it, but let's go ahead and see how it sounds musically. Okay, musically, these woofers sound really good. On the ACDC song, we thought that that sounded the best. The bass was uh, a little bit deeper on that song, more apparent. That also means that the woofer is definitely more efficient. As far as deeper bass is concerned, it does play that as well as just not quite as loud, right? Jail is a good company. They make great woofers. Just that under $200 woofer, uh, unfortunately, it is the bottom of the barrel woofer for them. Still a good woofer, but doesn't handle a lot of power and doesn't get real loud. And now Memphis's power reference 12 inch. All right, not too bad, 134.2. Okay, so now let's listen to some music. Okay, sound quality was excellent. Uh, actually sounded really good uh, during that ACDC song as well. So it was nice and snappy, but you do have that nice roll off on those deeper bass notes as well. So all together, an excellent woofer. So which woofer is the best? Well, just like beauty is in the eye of the beholder, sound quality is in the ear of the listener. But what isn't up for discretion is the feature comparison and the SPL test. Now the feature section was won by Alpine with four categories, followed by Kicker with three, and then JL with one. And the SPL test has Sundown at number one, Memphis and Rockford tied at number two and three, Alpine at four, Kicker at five, and JL at six. Now, here's my own personal order. I have JL at number six. JL sound quality was great. I just have a hard time with the price for an entry level speaker. Now, JL went through a hefty price increase through most of their equipment, and it's hard to justify this woofer being $200. That's just a tough sell. Rockford Fosgate at five. Typical Rockford boom, but a little sloppy on certain notes. I have Kicker at number four, which is boomy and punchy, but the roll off is a little harsh. I have Alpine at three. All around, sound quality is great. Handles the most power, won the feature category section, and I do like the fact that it needs the smallest box. And my number one pick for the best 12 inch subwoofer under $200 is the Sundown. It was the loudest of the bunch and I was really impressed by the sound quality. Now I must admit, I didn't think that this SPL focused sub was gonna do well in sound quality. Plus you were able to really feel the bass as well. And that leaves Memphis at my number two. Now this was the second loudest of the bunch and was accurate and boomy, but the box size is much larger than any of the other subs and they only handle 300 watts, but still a really good woofer. Okay, that's my list, what's yours? Go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. Also support this channel by shopping with us for all your car audio equipment needs. Visit us online at breakerstereoandperformance.com and remember, we do have financing available. Simply add to cart, pick a financing option, get approved, and we'll send your gear out to you ASAP. That's gonna do it. Make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. Again, my name is Josh, I'm with Breaker Stereo and Performance. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.